Good morning. Hello and welcome to BBC School Report with Nottingham Girls High School. I'm Phoebe. And I'm Kitty. And first we have the global news on the Ebola outbreak. Sierra Leone is going to be given more than £52 million immediately to help the country end the Ebola outbreak and recover from its effects to the area. The IMF International Monetary Fund are the ones who are pledging the money to the struggling economy. The Ebola outbreak has killed 100,000 people in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone, impacting on the lives of many. Sierra Leone has the highest rate of casualties and needs as much support as possible to get them back on their feet and eliminate the Ebola virus. Thank you for that, Tilly, uh, Maisie, Lily and Isabel. Now we have the national news about the new GC GCSEs. In September 2015, there will be new GCSE content introduced. The government claimed that this year's GCSE courses are being reformed to make them more challenging in order to prepare students for further academic qualifications or work. In September 2015, the changes will be in maths, English language and English literature exams, with further changes being made in later years. The marking scheme will also change for these subjects, meaning that papers will be marked from numbers 1 to 9 instead of using the current alphabetical grading system, 1 being the lowest and 9 being the highest. This means that the pupils of 2015 will have a mixture of alphabetical and numerical grades. Thank you for that report, Amna and Hannah. Now we have a new report on the national news from Olivia, who's reporting on Brilliant Book Award. The Brilliant Book Award is a Nottingham-based reading challenge for Key Stage 3, in which participants read six nominated books in a certain time frame. They are then given the chance to meet the authors. It is a good opportunity to discover something new and exciting to read, this year's authors include Rob Lloyd-Jones, Kevin Brooks and Sandra Greaves. At the end of the award, the children nominate the book that they think was the best. This year, the nominated titles are Brightling, The Ultimate Truth, Wild Boy, The Last Wild, The Outsiders and The Skull in the Wood. Thank you for that, Olivia. Now we have our first local report. Uh, now over to Eva and Miriam on the QMC. Recent strain on the NHS has been a court concern for patients and workers alike. The Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham appears to be struggling with the pressure and high volume of patients, forcing them to leave people needing treatment on the trolleys for up to 12 hours. Official records from the hospital board shows that in January, 52 patients were stranded and made to wait for treatment in A&A due to lack of beds and staff. Thank you, Eva and Miriam. Now we have our lifestyle report. Over to Toto and Amina about the Brit Awards. Hi, my name is Amina. And my name is Toto. And we're here with your lifestyle update. Last week, on the 25th of February, the nation saw the 2015 annual Brit Awards go live on ITV. Approximately 5.3 million viewers tuned into the event at 8pm, with a further 0.5 million on ITV Plus One. The night was full of performances from well-known artists including Taylor Swift, Sam Smith, Madonna, Ed Sheeran and many more. Viewers both at the event and at home were amazed at Sam Smith's double win, Madonna's tumble and Kanye West's epic performance. After a memorable night, the nation are looking forward to what next year brings. Thank you. Back to the studio. Thank you, Amina and Toto. Now our second lifestyle report on e-readers. E-readers are becoming common parts of our everyday lives. Maybe you have an e-reader. Do you have more books on your bookshelf or on your e-reader? Fraser Coast Libraries have recently started to loan e-readers to their library members. There are currently 20 Kobo e-readers, each containing one of five different genres with the current top 10 best-selling titles. The technical services librarian says that she hopes that they will encourage people who don't have an e-reader to try them out. Now, e-readers are becoming more and more advanced, and there are even online e-book libraries. Are e-readers replacing our books? Thank you, Anishka. Now we have our entertainment report with Summer and Isla on Comic Relief. Hello, I'm Summer. And I'm Isla. And welcome to the entertainment news. This year, Comic Relief falls on Friday the 13th of March and many celebrities are actively getting involved. One particular celebrity that everyone is eager to see is the one and only Daniel Craig, who is most well known for playing James Bond. The 007 actor is set to appear in a one-off sketch, but details of it are being kept under wrap. This will be the second time Craig has committed himself to doing a witty sketch for Comic Relief, as in 2009 he appeared in a sketch with Catherine Tate, where her character, Elaine Figgis, was dating a spy played by Craig. Thank you, Summer and Isla. Now we have our first school report on the Performing Arts Centre with Rosie, Stravani and Sophie. Good morning and welcome to BBC News. I'm Stravani. I'm Sophie. And I'm Rosie. 
Notting Girls High School is building a brand new eco-friendly performing arts centre. Mrs Gorham, head of school, and other staff are working in cooperation with Marsh Groschke to build the building of the future. The aim of the performing arts centre is to help students reach their full potential and flourish in their creativity and confidence. The centre has many fantastic features such as an extendable stage, practice rooms and professional lighting. In order to build the centre, the school the school have received funding from the GDST and has held many fundraising events to achieve the target of £6.5 million. That was your school news. Rachel and Kamal. Finally, we have our five-day forecast with Olivia and Daisy. Hello, I'm Daisy. And I'm Olivia. Welcome, Welcome to the weather, weather brought to you by NGHS. Despite the frosty morning, we will be seeing cloudy but sunny spells with highs of 6 degrees C. Going into tonight, it's going to become cloudier and breezier, with a chance of dispersed showers. We could be seeing icy patches and minimum temperatures 1 degree C, so please be careful. Going into Wednesday, we'll be noticing longer sunny spells and warmer temperatures. However, there is still a chance of showers on higher ground, and we will be looking at highs of 8 degrees C. Looking at the rest of the week, we should be seeing mild weather with a slightly chilly breeze, and a chance of rain coming in from the north. Have a lovely week. And I hate the weather is right for you. Susie and Phoebe, reporting from Nottingham Girls High School. Thank you and good night.